Yo, yo, Rengulius here. You were watching. Wrench feels like playing Underspace. We're back at it again, and we're gonna just continue our story here with Cardoz. Um, I did do a little bit of uh, playing around off stream, just kind of trying to find some cool trade routes and stuff. Um, I ended up kind of leveling up a couple times and then the story kind of progressed but uh i'm gonna go back a little bit and uh i think we're gonna go actually back to this playthrough um just before we hit level 14 i think we just leveled up to 13 not too sure if the story i don't think the story really progressed from there we did end up going to a different star system i think Guerrera. And then uh, we uh, helped out someone who was getting attacked by pirates. And then they thanked us and asked us to go talk to someone in the station. We didn't end up talking to that person. Um, I think we'll end up right now. I'm gonna, gonna load up some goods. We'll do a, a, a one side of a trade route. Go do that mission, see what they want. Um, by the time we finish that, we'll probably end up hitting level 14, and then the uh, the main story will pick back up there. So we will do that and uh, see where it goes from there. Some shipwrecks we go to will have some enemies. Okay, um, who do I have? On? We are no old cargo. Do you have any kind of missions? But yeah, we have baton, broken. West right now so what we will do is we're gonna dock here and pick up some goods the starship cores is what we're gonna grab every time i don't know why my camera just loves messing up here Hopefully I figure it out eventually, but for now I'll just have to take attention. Okay, so let's go cargo trader. Starship cores. Raven Star Spire, sell the cores, pick up some water. That needs to back on Baldur. Time. Oh, I guess the story progressed already. Come see me on Baldric. Um, well, I already bought cores, so I might as well. Unfortunately, didn't work out exactly how I wanted to, but uh, that's okay. Let me go sell the cores. Maybe uh, Raven Star Spire might have something to bring back. Not too sure.
I got a fair amount of coin now. Let's see, ship dealers. What do they have? So they got a regular 26,000 dozer. This is what is this? Freighter. It does 150 cargo. I literally might just want to buy this. No, I don't have enough money to buy it. So, I guess I'm not buying it. Okay. We're gonna head out. Go do the mission. See what's up. Check out the Adel Spasher's mission in the chapter house. Baldrick. After that, good chance that I'm gonna probably buy a new ship. Not too sure if it's gonna be a freighter or if it's gonna be a fighter. I was just about to buy a freighter if I would have been able to afford it, but in reality, I think it's probably best if we go with a, a Nectar, like a, I think it's a tier 2 fighter, with the next level of ship I could buy. I think they cost 240 Maybe they cost 260 We'll find out when we get there. I don't have... Just enough, yeah, because if we buy a ship and we don't have enough to buy weapons, it's kind of pointless. So, might have to wait for another little bit before we can actually buy another ship. Because so far, i found you cannot swap guns from one ship to another. At least so far, I, don't, I can't, I don't necessarily know... If I can put them maybe in storage and then pull them out with a different ship, if that if that works, I think I tried that already and it didn't work. But we'll find out. Always scares me. I always think I'm gonna run right into the planet. Is everything all right? Something looks like it's on fire. Looks like it's near you. Did you hear it? They bombed the archives. A lot of people are dead. Oh shit. 
I knew, I'd tell you. It's probably something to do with triangles. Didn't lose anything, did I? Keep a backup of essential documents, you're fine. Right. Stay safe, Bell. Don't worry about me, Cardoz. Everything is intact. Okay, so someone decided to go and blow up the archives. Not too sure what the archives mean. Or the chapter house. Um, they wanted me to go see Pat. I can. Pat. Cardoz, finally. We've only been a small window of opportunity here, so let's get to it. What's with all these people? These lad are the red faces, at least the ones that have been in con I've been in contact with. They're out here to assist the do with the doomsday. I decide to swallow my pride for the sake of the bigger picture and ask for help. I've I've known McCann for years. His team will be invaluable. Okay. So, you ready? Well, ready as I'll ever be. All right. Everyone gather around. This is going to be important. Thanks to the data recovered by Speakerson, we know that... Sorry, did you say Speakerson, son? Speakerson. This is his descendant. We are the fortunate speakers among the greatest star chasers known. Shining Flash. We've inherited the talent. You're confused. Speaker is an orator. I've never been in combat. True. He was unmatched at that. I've read entirely Grant's speech he gave before the children. Now he's shamed them. Collectively. But this time, his real name exists in the registry. Clearly, you know the descendant fell into the bones. Righteous of your existence. Clarity, purpose. I've sworn. Don't use them. I really wish I could follow this. Kind of cool. I know eventually this is supposed to be voice acted, but literally I cannot read this that fast. Situation involved in holy shit, man. All right, process capable of opening, closing temples. Bezio, you're gonna have to read this for yourself. I can't read that fast. The temples, storm. Long of all drifting. Where travel to the temple. Then what? Because he's been launched in the raids, most likely his base. The players, the game's players, stop the physio. Yep. I have no idea what's going on. I cannot read this fast, and I can't keep up. Cool. That whole interaction, I literally, I honestly have no idea what's going on. Something to do with the Bezio, and I, from what I gathered, they are using the triangle ancient jump gates to jump between places, I think, is what they were talking about. Um, well, alright then, hopefully that should cover everything. Sure. Cool. I have fucking no idea what's going on. Any questions? Yeah. Fucking tell me what's going on because I have no idea. This sucks. This kind of sucks. Like, I would... It would be kind of cool. I almost want to just stop playing the game and wait till it comes out. Because, like... I'd rather just fucking... Know what's going on. It's kind of frustrating not knowing what's going on. Uh, what if what doesn't work? Oh, believe me, my entire plan seems pretty flimsy. We could get ambushed. We could be l too late. But there's things I know for certain. At first, there's a storm that's going to reopen that jump gate. Won't be stable. Won't be for long. But it'll be long enough for us to get through. And second thing I know is that the other side is something. Something where a Bezidio was able to covertly move a small fleet of doomsdayers into the capital. Okay. 
I'm assuming they're talking about the ancient jump gate, um, which means it's something that wouldn't hurt to be prepared for. If it doesn't work, we're at the same place we started. Any other questions? What do we want? What do we do if or when we find as priority should be stopped the cult? That doesn't mean taking out a Bezier. It means dismantling anything he's built and taking out his strongest supporter. Make no mistake, with him gone, the cult would crumble. But we're not just trying to stop them. We're trying to stop their plans as well. Keep their bigger picture in mind when you're out there. Any other questions? So what was the first artifact a Bezier was at? I wish I had a better idea out there. I reached out a few times with my Mata contacts, a few Ark and Ark. The word underground is that he wasn't just a desperate to get his hands on the artifact, but trying to get the hell, trying like hell to find a replacement. It's like I said, he's building something and we just robbed him of his most important piece. We've got to strike now. Okay, any other questions? more questions oh man i have all the questions i literally have no idea what's going on what's the fucking plan i have literally no idea what we're doing let's get the guy even though i have no idea what we're doing let's that's the vengeful attitude i like to see let's get out to space we've got a storm to catch head back to the collapse jump hole and wait Yeah, it's kind of frustrating, like, obviously it's supposed to be voice acted eventually, but, like, holy crap, man. Can you guys just, like, slow the dialogue down a little bit so someone can actually fucking read it? Like, I am enjoying this game, but, god damn it. It'd be really nice to fucking be able to read what's going on. Okay, so, head back to the collapsed jump hole, and wait the storm. So we're going to have to swap our ships here. Hopefully we have the ability to do that. I don't want to do this mission in a freaking freighter. Hopefully we can head to the garage first. Should be able to. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to. So I'm assuming we're heading towards the ancient jump gate. Um, that triangle. Jump gate in the uh, trap there. Mac Tam and his team are saying they'll meet us there. Those guys freak me out. The stuff about the speaker. Best of the best man knows things. He's helping us out. Yeah. He's Mac Rivari. Like I said, he's flown with the best of the best. We're getting off topic. Yeah, well, if I could read, I know what's going on. Tough chatter, let's get to work. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, not understanding some of the dialogue or like being able to keep up is really frustrating, but what can you do, I guess? I don't know why my camera just consistently goes out of focus. I don't really understand why. It's kind of frustrating. I'm not really moving around all that much, so I don't know why it keeps wanting to refocus itself on nothing.
Weird how they don't really follow you. I don't really understand. Definitely feel like they're supposed to follow you and they didn't. I don't know why. I don't know if that has something to do with the swap. Yep. I think I did the exact same thing the last time I was on a mission. I swapped the ship and no one wanted to follow me after that, so I don't know if that's some sort of glitch. Maybe they just don't follow you to begin with, I don't know. The abyssal drive is kind of. Wish I would like let you know when you actually can. Stormfront rolling in. Should I be worried about it? Probably claim it. But we need to focus. Storm's active, you can't use a pistol drive. Chapter Master. Okay. Opening. Go. Hit through the newly formed jump. Here we go. I think this happened to us before. We just like jumped into some random freaking place and I had to find my way back. So we're in Baton system. Baton, damn it. That's a large jump. And a large storm. You sure this isn't the doomstairs? Stars help us. We're able to control the storm. It's on the weather charts. It's a normal day. We'll all expect it. Where are the red faces? Give them a minute. Unstable jump holes, always interesting experience. You good, Mactan? Here. Creating a structure near here. Cardows will follow you. Okay, so I guess I'm headed out. Whoa, what was that? Obviously, jump poles. I wasn't paying attention. Speaker, we have to talk. Just now. What was that? Didn't say anything, Cardoz. Getting sort of a calm interference. Storm. Happens? Try to stay focused. 
It says follow MacTan, but they said to follow me. I'm a little confused. Yeah, I definitely wish this was at full release because, like, I definitely would like it to be voice acted at this point, but. I get for playing in early access. Okay, prepare myself for a fight here. Heavy arraignments coming. being able to like hear some of the dialogue and not being able to like yeah fully get the story is not the best
back at me. Okay, I got that one. Docking is back online, but I'm at detect some sort of surge for the device. What are you doing? What am I doing? Uh, damn it, no. Honestly, I have no idea. Like, it's acting like I'm doing something and I'm not doing anything, but I guess I'm docking is what I'm supposed to do. Out of there. Goes off. Who knows how many could get killed? We have to find a Bezio. He gets. Welcome back aboard, Cardoz. Washers are the main ones. Part of my plan. Listen, I don't need any of that. If there's any champion of your time, would you get gas? I believe dogma and lies are considered the greatest number. Of course, I wanted to know the truth back then. Things that they creep they made no sense to me, but the back of my head always had the small feeling. But still, be a little, a little bit, not really understand what the fuck is going on, really. To my core, clear to the void. You know why the washers hate me? They hate me more than anything in the star chasers. I know the following of ignorance. What they do, what they came to do. I came to do the right quick solutions. They're determined to be more than soldiers, grand moors, sacrifices upon their altars because I'm the one who drive out. What's going on? What's happening? Exactly what my thoughts are right now. What the fuck is going on? I have no idea what's going on. This sucks. I really wish I did. Like, I really want to enjoy this game. But it's it's making it really difficult. And I can't even follow the dialogue. Looks like a smaller version of the machine outside. Whatever it is, it's no longer full power. It seems to have burnt itself out, in fact. Is this Bezio? Comrades were able to give you a gift, but Speakerson, you robbed me with an artifact. Placeholder. Time since death. The choice we get. Going on, Cardoz, where's the Bezio? He's dead. They're all dead. We were free to do. I could have been free to everyone in the horrors. Now it's too late. It's all too late. He's not coming back. It's for the fault. Game save, speaker. What the hell are those two? Get out here now. Stormer's dying down, but we've got a fight on our hands. 
Interesting. Out there, there's the carrier. Big ship. Carrier. These fighters just appear. There's nothing else. Halt. Got an ink. up barely holding on something big is coming Driving interesting ship. They're like little triangles. Kind of look like a jump gate. To be honest. They're shoot purple weapons. Very reminiscent of the Nomads. Alabaster, we're lucky you showed up. Getting readings of Barrera, detecting an investigate chapter master where these triangles come from. We don't know. Our goal is to take out the doomsdayers, but they built this device and the triangles attacked. Nothing else? Came out of nowhere. We think they came after the device, but it's destroyed. Understood, chapter master. We're heading to Ignite to resupply. Put this to the Constellarium. Roger that, Alabaster. Stand by. Vision with me. Union McCann, stay behind. And Cardoz. I want a full report on everything that happened at the station. We'll head back. In the meantime, get you to Alabaster. So the ship was on our side. Okay. Don't it? Oh. 
Okay. Really wish I could keep up with that one. I guess that's for uh, when the full release comes out. Obviously, I'll have to replay the story when it's fully released because I'm missing a whole lot of shit here. Something to do with the military? They're not asking for you, they're asking for Cardoz. Okay, awesome. So I'm under arrest even though I've like done a bunch of military missions for them? Makes sense. Speak to the military at the cabin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bullshit. Military Juni. Cardo Speakerson. That's me. By orders of the Union General Zet, you're to proceed with the Valdrick landing bays and aboard the shuttle to the UNS Big Deal. The what? The UNS Big Deal? Oh man, my camera, I do not understand my camera. Why does it keep fucking doing this? I'm gonna have to look something up and figure out why my camera keeps zooming in and zooming out. Like, getting out of focus for no freaking reason. But ours is the General Union Zet. We proceed the Baldrick Landing Base, shuttle you know it's a big deal. Am I being detained? Quite the opposite. There's a need for star chasers, and we're escorting you to the axle. Your ship and equipment will be transported as well. Right. Make sure you sign off with your chapter chief chapter master first. UHC needs to keep a record of this. Okay. So I'm being transferred to the military. Uh, I heard Cardoz. Yeah, you're standing right next to me. I feel like you should be happy. Abezio is dead. This device is destroyed, and the Doom Slayers, Doomsdayers, scattered to the edges of the galaxy. But something irks me. Something feels off. Why did those ships show up at the end? Why did Abezio think? What did Abezio think was coming? I, I have no idea. I don't follow the dialogue. Usually, I dismiss these kinds of cultish stuff as being insane, but with this, there's too many coincidences to leave me anything but uneasy. Like it was at the start or something worse. You better get along. The Union military is not like the UHC. They have timetables and like they're called. They're not coming? Of course they're not coming. Are they my chapter master? Like, wouldn't they just, like, not follow? I don't know. Why would I think they're coming? Bezio's dead, but who knows else what the Doomsdayers set up. There could be remnants. We are still claiming out for quite a while. And I was talking to the captain of Alabaster. The military asks you for specifically. You've been making waves among the Union's higher-ups, apparently. Why? I don't know. We've run a few missions together, and you're, you're up and coming for sure. But this... Well, that's here. He's definitely explained the better than I could. Then I can. I'll be going along. One second. Yes. You disobeyed my order. You were told to stay out and focus on stopping the Rust Lord's device, but instead you boarded the ship station after and go after Bezzy. What's the issue? The device didn't work. And what if it did? I told you to not let a Bedio get inside your head. But and ended up focused on him instead of the mission. Does you need to be taken down? What we needed is done to stop the Doomsdayers from killing everyone. You gotta be the bigger. You gotta see the bigger picture here, Cardog. That's what makes the best star chaser. The best. You stay safe, Hat. You take care. And just keep in mind the core system star chasers are pretty intimidating. Okay. Speak to the military. You need a planet Baldrick's docket. Okay, so I got paid out pretty well for that. Character and reputation. I also leveled up, so. What level am I? Level 14, so. 
bro. So shield downtime, we'll just keep upgrading that. Ten, so point seven seconds basically. Four more. I think I'll up my ammo to ten. Don't really care about the reputation gain. Salvage and mining chance. Not really doing much of that. Shield recharge rate plus forty. We're just gonna keep our uh, shield down. It's definitely getting less and less every time we upgrade. Point six. Okay. Water, yeah. campaign, rooted. After the Doomsayers were defeated, a couple of military grumps came up to us at Baldrick. They're asking us to report directly to some Dillermit big military. It's all military. Look, I know, I don't know, I have a shuttle thing waiting for me at home. Yada yada. Okay, we'll just go to the shuttle. I almost want to check out the equipment first. See if there's, or to be honest, actually, take a look at the ships and see if there is anything I can buy here. Nope, nothing better. So I'm gonna ignore that, and we will move on. I'm assuming wherever we go, there is gonna be better ships to get. Man, this camera thing is getting on my nerves. It is getting on my nerves. I don't know how to stop this from happening. I'm not moving in and out from the camera, so I don't know why the hell it needs to keep refocusing itself. By your chapter master speakerson we'll be transporting you and your ship to the axle whenever you're in i can just fly to the axle itself negative speakerson you need to be debriefed over covert and and speaking freely the union is afraid about attacks on certain targets does this leave anything to do with the triangles that attack in we are not at liberty to share this information in the public Please board when you are ready. So clearly this is a military matter. They've been investigating these triangle ships. So I'm ready to go. We've set aside a cabin aboard the ship aboard the big deal. General Zed will brief you over the secure line inside. I kind of wish this was voice acted, but... Welcome aboard, Mr. Speakerson. Going along the long trip, want you to heads up. What about that? General will contact you once we get closer to our destination. For now, I guess I will rest. Um, if I don't follow the dialogue, forgive me. I, I'm just kind of getting frustrated with not being able to follow it. I'd rather, like, know what's going on than try to read it out loud. Uh, but this is where I can... Okay, so, Cardoz Speakerson. Good to finally meet you in person. Well, almost. General, what do you need? Straight and to the point. Pat said you were blind. That's what I represent the Combined Union Naval and Military Force, along with the Consortium, consortium Director. Put it simply, there's, we're here to recruit. Recruit me to what? By now, you should know 
we're at war with the enemy whose capabilities aren't like anything we've seen. They're fast, they strike hard, and they know us. The Consortium is recruiting the best star chasers they can find for a special task force dedicated to hunting down our enemies' strongest and blowing them up out of the sky. We'd like you to be among them. Why me? It's true, you're a rookie, but from what people tell me, you show promise. Your name has come up in the roster, and the consortium has agreed. I am liaz liaison here. I don't know their reason, but I feel like their faith has been well placed. Okay. You can walk away from the offer, of course, Peterson, but we pay will be good. There's other opportunities. If you can catch my dream. We're hunting triangles, I presume? Yes. Including their capital ship? Exclusive. When we arrive at the Axel, we'll have more details. I'm in. Excellent. I'm sure they'll have additional questions. I'm here to answer. What's the general doing commanding starship? I'm not technically a naval officer. That's correct. I'm part of the UHC. But I'm here as a special liaison in order to charge for organizing Star Chaser run strikes. The Admiralty, the Admiralty seems to be someone who knows me, and the Consortium agrees. You, as in Star Chaser. Any other question? Pat mentioned you. I'm not surprised. It was a founding member of the Idol Squad. Lost in his eye fighting in the gate builder worship cult about 30 years ago. It's good to see Hat still keep the whole operation running. Any other questions? How is this war actually going? Not well. The, arch the official story is that we're holding our own. In truth, we're whittling us down bit by bit. We can't catch them, and we every fighter we take down just gets replaced with the next. They don't follow traditional rules, which is exactly why we need going for unconventional help. Okay. Understood, I'm ready. Okay, so war's not going well, that's why they're recruiting star chasers. Perfect. Now, there's a few things you need particularly, there's a few other things not particularly important, but, oh, shit. We've gotten hostiles on the radar, try fighters. Closing in fast. Wait. We're near the axle now? Yes, we are. All crew to your stations. Red alert. We can continue this conversation now, Cardos. Suggest you get out there. Gotcha. Okay. Of course, my camera just wants to just, for some reason, for some fucking reason, just wants to go out of focus for no reason. That's big deal. Looks like you could use some help. restock the missile back in this. We arrived early. Just print out a suggestion. You know who how he is? I told everyone and they believe. We're lucky they showed up. Didn't think the triangles would attack this close to the capital. There's been incursions everywhere, gentlemen. That's why we're gathering star tracers like you and Cardoz here. Consortium blue Cardoz. Cardoz Speakerson? Correct. Cardo Speakerson as a star chaser. Really? Yes. Obviously. Well, alright then. Let's get to the unions. I guess the union's desperate. Cardoz, head to the axle. Train shuttle. We'll be briefed in the room. 
better under control, General. So ships are available, quests are available, Storm Chaser chapter is there, and I can transport to other locations. Where exactly am I? Local map, Omega Alpha system. Okay. So not far from where I was called Baldwin or Baldwick or not entirely sure what the system itself is called. If it's Baldwin or Baldwick. I've seen different names, so I don't know. Doctor. the briefing on the talk to the taxi driver here come aboard the ship mr speakerson you're right on time you've got a shuttle shuttle nearby to take you on Please take me there and do that okay hopefully the dialogue doesn't go too fast for me settle down star chasers stand to attention now that we're all here let's begin as you know, the Union is at war. Our scouts originally engaged... Oh, no, man. Yeah, you're gonna have to read it for yourself, sorry. Am I supposed to be able to read this fast? Like... This is brutal, man. Engine, the hook. Shit. Firepower, screen defenses, flex ship up their fleet, up their outright. You're on Zet, the board, and then questions. Treat them as you would. Yep, awesome. Cool. I have no idea what you said there. So, I don't know. Please do that before you go. Yeah, I have all the questions. What are we doing? Why did you, what did you guys just tell me? I can't keep up with shit, so. Something to do with their fleet. They just showed us two ships of holograms. Um... And one of them is to believe to be their leader, I guess. I like, dude, man. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to fucking keep up with the dialogue. I cannot read that fast. I don't know how anyone's supposed to read that fast. That that sucks. Like, it kind of takes away from the enjoyment of this game. Uh, speaker saying, ready for your assignment? Sure. I have some questions first, like, fucking what the hell did they just tell me? What do you want to know? What do we actually know about the triangles? Very little. We know their capabilities, but everything else is speculation. Our current theory is that there are actually very few of them operating under our outright being their or their four capital ships. The fighters are all automated. Something else controls them. If I'm honest, that's a serious boon for us, because they can just keep fielding fighters. If they take out their commanders, the whole fleet should go down. So yeah, I guess, like, yeah, if you kill a big ship, a lot of the small ships... 
what many squads will be offered. How many squads will be offered? In total, that's classified. Where you're going, we'll have three squads in total. That's the Aces with Candrail, Backhands, Red Faces, and Onboard the Chapter, and the Onboard Chapter, the 43rd. The 43rd. Fast response. Technically, there's their Navy, but also Star Team. Any other questions? What do I need to do to prepare? Firepower. A lot of firepower. You don't need anything to worry about supplies there'll be plenty of downtime between missions everything will will be well stocked and yes that includes the bar any other questions i'm ready just tell me where i need to be. okay so i guess we're just on a missions to blow up and find out certain things about this triangle shit. good you're with the aces that's candrail's Creon and Pyrono over here. I know Canandriel can be a bit rough. He's the one who one of the best and cares about his squad. He'll have your back, even if he'll never shake your hand. Now that consortiums misspoke a bit when they said you'll be fighting you'll be flying at your destruction. You're to be treated more like an elite task force, but the Navy will be shuttling you to destinations based on your frontline intelligence. Shuttling's how. This is where it gets fun. You'll be aboard the UNS marching station, which is... Go dock and see. Interesting. So we have our own personal battleship, I guess, is the... What I'm... Is, it, is that what I'm picking up? Is that what they're putting down? Am I picking up what they're putting down? Leave the axe. Um, I actually kind of want to take a look at the sh uh, ships they're selling, if they're selling any kind of ships. I always select customize. Okay, so they still got a couple of the low class ships, but then got 260, a bomber. So this is a different type of ship. I haven't seen a bomber. Interesting. The U-900 pearlescent Union bomb. For centuries, the Union's military most the Union's military mostly existed as an anti-piracy and infrastructural security force, leaving the destruction and fighting of bigger, nastier targets to the Star Chamber. Come the Valor War, the Union found itself flying capital ships and civilization civilization on the even putting with itself for the first time. It needed ships specifically designed to, well not star chase, but at the very least be able to hold their own against heavily tar heavy target. Thus, the U900 series was born. Possessing enormous heavy armament and strong plating, pearlescent is ideal for taking down the battleships of anyone or anything that are in your way. Those of Massive hull, 1500 hull, uh, max class shields, class 7, loadout, 2 class 6s, 2 class 7s, 2 heavy guns, which is massive, AI class 7, a mine, okay, the fair amount of energy, big recharge rate, okay, interesting buy a freighter cheap freighter another bigger freighter i have four hundred thousand right now firebird tier two freighter essentially the same freighter i have of the skyhawk but it's just a tier two can carry 150 so i don't necessarily think i want to buy a bomber maybe eventually i'll buy a bomber but right now i don't really I want to buy a fighter so don't need that ship for now um we will just head out to our new what i assume battleship is kind of probably what this is oops wasted a, wasted a gun there yeah here's a battleship 
Red Boss, Squadron 3, Carter S. Speakerson, you're cleared to dock Star Chaser. Roger that. On behalf of the Union, we're glad to have you aboard. UNS Marshall Stone. Pretty sweet looking. Got our own personal battle station, I guess. It looks pretty pretty cool. Welcome aboard the flagship, Cardoz. This is the UNS Marching Star, fresh out of the yard. And to be honest, he'll be out earlier and I've like lots of tanks to work out. It's strong, nastier than more, importantly faster than any ship in the fleet. That's why she's personally picked the Operation Trap Trapezoid. And why are your and what are your orders? Cardoz, your formal calls me sir and not general. I'm not your OC. Clean up, get the ship outputted. Notice coming, please, but remember, we're at war. Touring around most of the galaxy. Leave and take out. Either way, report to the briefing room when you're ready. Yeah. Man, I uh, wish I was a faster. Like, I literally fucking not up. I miss literally half of what they say. Every it is quite frustrating. So they want me to outfit the ship or buy a new one. I'm assuming I'm probably just gonna buy a new ship. Back end. And I guess the red faces. Man. Okay. Uh let's just get a handle. Let's go see the ship docket. See what they have. So, here we go. Light fighter, medium fighter, a bomber. Oh, they don't have a heavy fighter? Damn, dog. Oh, Aurora heavy fighter. Not a huge fan of the look. Not gonna lie. But that's okay. I'll get over it. Definitely an upgrade. Get this guy, I guess. The U24 Aurora Union Heavy Fighter. Battleship convoys will off often require a permanent fighter contingent on board one or more capital ships. In and in practice, these end up being Aurora. Don't let the fact that the Union mass produces fool you. They're as heavily armed and heavily armored as any fighter in their own tiered class. Some union call them Piranha due to their habit of swarming around a single target and leaving left and left to save regrets and some spaces. Okay, so two class six, four class seven guns, one heavy, an AI class seven, mine, thrusters, web cache, all the goodies. So max ammo goes down to 50. Oh, why would it go? Maybe it's just because I'm not on board. I was about to buy it. So we're going to buy one of these, I guess. And go on. From there. Buy it. So now we are flying the Aurora. We'll swap the ship. Error. Cargo detected. I guess I have to sell the cargo on board, so I have like two things of water. Back. Aurora. Okay, now we're on this ship. Let's go to the equipment dealer and load it up. So two class sixes. So 
Definitely need to look for a shield buster. What do we got here? And nothing. Shield butter. Bright plant MK1. Firebird. Shield damage 222. Phoenix. Three. One. Do they not have a shield bust? AI pistol. They don't have any shield busters. That's interesting. How much? Hmm. Okay, well we'll just have to deal with that for now and hopefully we'll find a shield buster later on, I guess. Energy drain, 36 per shot energy drain, 50 per shot, 202 per shot. Okay, what are we looking for? So we have high beam MK4, 5, class 5. Might as well go for class 6, but. Right there. Okay, what are we at? Um, so this guy goes at 8 3. This guy is also at 8 3. Class 6. Says 142. 73 shield. Oh, I can't afford anything. Holy shit, I just realized that. Okay. Well, shit. I'm not going to be able to ship even with these cheaper guns. Okay, well, we should probably. Damn it, dude. What's this? Bright Lands MK2. 200 and 100. Plus 7. 2 per second. 2 per second. 2 per second. These are all three. Well, I'm just gonna have to probably eat this until I can get some more money. We'll just buy these cheap guns for now. Oh, I can only buy like three of them. Okay, buy three cheap guns for now. Cheap. Considered fully to the rest. Hopefully, we can make this work. Yeah. I might have to just swap to my other fighter for now so we can afford to uh, load this ship up. So, I guess we leveled up. Um, level 15. I think we're gonna just up our shield, our down rate. To six three now. Um, current mission. I've got nothing. Do have the one quest for that. Um, something tells me we just have to go to like the chapter house or something here to uh, get a mission. Definitely, I'm gonna have to load out the ship. So. This hat? No, actually. Why are you, are you here, Cardoz? I'm not looking to offend. I'm generally confused. Me and my red faces are veterans. Our youngest members have flown for 20 years. The other team are, without exaggerating, the greatest living Star Trek. You are a skilled rookie, but you are a rookie. They asked me for me. That's all I know. Curious. I suppose the rest of the tech pen can be found Perhaps. Curious, I suppose. The rest of the ten can't be found here. No? Hmm? A mystery, to be sure. Nevertheless, you have been proven yourself before. Our paths will cross again, hopefully for good reason. Okay, well. 
Okay. We need to repair this new ship. I'm almost wondering if I should probably swap my other ship now. Until I get this thing actually loaded up. Um... Go to the chapter house. Go in here. Quiet down and listen up. Desperate resource passing major reporter. Passing reporter. Typically, major target at the triangles. Before began, we've been lost two ships, countless fighters in the nebula. Multiple triangle warships spotted, including the Fate. We lost contact with one of our cruisers in the cloud moments ago after reporting the sightings of the engine. We have to sadly presume we've lost it. Destruction is our opportunity. As Star Chasers, you are familiar with the area sweep and high level engagement. All three squads will find out, locate the cruiser if possible, the engine. Yeah. Part of our operation trapezoid, you are clear to engage with any enemy forces you see fit. Backups, you only need. We will leave it to your best judgment. One last thing, normally you're going to be used working for yourself, but Marching Stars team, we've got the weapons and gadgets to spare. I'll give you a case to case and overview of private, but both rule of thumb, if you need heavy weapon support, call the Marching Star in. You'll have to stand by for all communication. Let's go to work, people. Let's prove the Operation Trapezoid can work. Launch to space. Yeah, I honestly... I'm gonna swap to my other ship first. And, uh... I'm gonna swap to this ship, and then we'll have to just kind of... When I get money, we will upgrade that other ship. But for now, let's continue on here. Squad, check in. Questions. Why are you in charge? Is Crayon one the number one star chaser? I've got this, Crayon. You come on, Ray. Come on. I have a penis. Hey, Canaldra. Hey, yes, Crayon. Both zero tens, not the same thing. Any questions? No. Move out. You take point, Speakerson. Okay. Still don't know what's going on. Can't read half the fucking dialogue, but, you know. I guess that's something I'll have to just get used to in this game. Only knowing, like, half of what's going on. Patrol and find the missing cruiser. We're looking for... The engine? It's the best. This makes no fucking sense. I do not understand why freaking goes out of focus just randomly. Quite quite annoying. Alright. That's the targets. Anything from Mata and the Likrin? Negative. Engage with the fighters. If they retreat, let them. Bigger. Now I'm hungry. Okay, we'll turn off our web eater. 
I have shields, so there's no point having a shield killer. I didn't restock any of my missiles, so that wasn't very smart of me. They're lightweight. Incoming, and it's big. Oh shit. Target in sight. Aces forward. The engine. It's pushing. EMP pulses always have good super warfare. I attack it. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything. So I will just ignore it. Damn it, those pulses are wearing through our shields, redirecting anything we can throw at it. It's Rustler esque, it's based off of it. Oh man, I can't really keep up. Absolutely sure. Positive. We fought washers using the same tech. Can you read us? We're here. And I'm uh, I can't even I can't fight and read the dialogue at the same fucking time here. So I have no idea what's going on. Roger, stand by, get clear. Am I supposed to stay clear? These are negative. Generators push out the sunken lords. Well, that's classified. They'll be able to trace anything as source, calibrate. How do they work? Uh, anyone, someone affected by it, pulses stand near them. Handle the fighters. Star provides support. Yeah. I'm just kind of trying to keep up. I cannot keep up with dialogue. This tech goes, hopefully it isn't regular act. Finish those fighters. Well, dude, they just showed up. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm hoping when the game comes out, like all that stuff is supposed to be voice acted. Keeps up. It's like, how the hell am I supposed to keep up with dialogue while I'm trying to fight?
Calibrate the pulse nullifier. Am I supposed to do something else here? Like. how they have a bunch of shield caches even though they don't have shields. Okay, am I supposed to be doing something? Yep, probably. Like, calibrate the pulse nullifiers. Like, I'm not entirely sure if like, I'm supposed to do that? Like... Calibrating. Awesome! So... Awesome. I was supposed to... Am I just supposed to fucking stand still? Are you serious? Awesome. So I was supposed to do this the whole time? How the hell? Oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. I have to just stand still? Okay. Where's the last one? Okay, what am I supposed to do here, dude? I don't know what I'm doing. Wow. Just had to basically kill myself in order to fucking progress with the fucking game. We're unarmed. That's why the QA and Creon. Got the cannon. <laughs> Pulled by the egg. And. <clears throat> egg. Right. Necessarily understand, but I guess I do. Just sit here and fucking shoot at it, or oh, no, I'm getting, I'm taking damage. Why does strafing not work half the time, man? I'm a 
assuming this is all I'm supposed to do is just fire at it. And I wish strafing fucking worked here. Like, why does strafing not work right now? What's going on? Why is my strafing not working? Unless it is working, I just can't tell. Yeah. This is gonna have to... I'm gonna have to probably restart this, but I'm just like... Essentially... Dead. Like, I thought the whole time he was telling me, you just take out the fighters, take out the fighters, and yet... It basically required me to fucking... I'm so confused. Just reload it. Hopefully I have full health and shit. Okay. Well, let's try this again. I guess I kind of know what to do now. Oh, wow. It goes like half my health instantly. It is actually extremely difficult to like see, tell like how you're moving in this freaking vision here. Super hard to tell if I'm moving in the right direction. going out. <laughs> right now, they've got limited. So, like, you have to, like, stop moving, essentially, and, like, be right next to it and hope that you don't take stupid damage. right on it. Holy shit, dude. Okay, there's two. I'm almost dead. right now okay generators are calibrated once again right as i'm almost gonna blow up like holy shit dude this is ridiculous wow brutal forward am i just supposed to blow the ship up now like is that the goal So hard. 
hard to like Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Like I feel like I should be strafing around it and it just runs right into the ship. Like I should be I Oh, I feel like all I'm doing is complaining, but it's just like, holy shit, man. It's kind of hard to tell if you're strafing or not with this map here. It's like, I feel, oh my goodness. Like, is this ship moving as well? Like, maybe that's why it's not working. Like, I'm just... I feel like I should be strafing around it, and it just runs right into it. It also feels like I'm the only one attacking this fucking ship. Holy shit. And I'm dead. So this is really hard. Like, this is really fucking hard, man. Like, I'm almost wondering if I needed that chip upgrade in order to do this mission. How the hell was I supposed to afford guns? I could only afford three guns after that. Holy shit. This thing shows up and it's just like, boom, 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 you're dead. Yeah, this is brutal, man. This is fucking brutal. Sent out the nullifiers. I just have to eat this, or do I do I attack the fighters just to kind of whittle them down so I don't take as much damage? But it seems like they just replenish the fighters like pretty fucking quickly. I'd personally rather not just fucking blow myself up unnecessarily. It seems like every time I try to do these nullifiers, I just end up being getting fucking blown up. Yeah. It'd be really cool if the voice actors were, or like, it was actually voice acted. Because I cannot keep up with dialogue. Calibration bullshit is really fucking stupid. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan of this. Not a fan of this. Not a fan. Like, fuck! If you're not, like, fucking right in front of it. 
Oh my god, dude. Like... I don't know how I'm supposed to do this without taking fucking damage. Like... Shields are down. You're all my allies dead? Like, is it kind of feels like it. Definitely fucking feels like it. Fighters, or if it's, it should just focus on the battleship. Focusing on the battleship hasn't done me any fucking good so far. So I'm gonna be the only one who's actually attacking the fucking battle. That's fucking annoying. Do I have to try and avoid these fucking lasers? Missile going. Uh, the missiles. I have arc beam cannon. Oh, great. Now more fighters are. Got it, almost to halfway. Definitely feels like, uh, I don't have any more allies here. I had more missiles. Yeah, so it's starting to show some signs of fucking wear here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Nope, that's not what I want. Fuck. Yeah, okay, here we go. 80, almost 80k. Like, 
Once again, like, I don't know if I'm supposed to just engage with the fighters. Probably not. Even though it kind of feels like, holy shit, am I the only one left standing here? No one else seems to be attacking this goddamn fucking ship. I don't see any green around me. Okay, here we go. Almost dead, almost dead. Come on, stop running into it. 6,000, 2,000, 1,000. This motherfucker is dead. There we go. Fucking blew up the battleship, eh? Kaboom, motherfucker. Did it? Weapons are back offline, but the engines are completely destroyed. We did it. Thought it would be faster. No help from the 43rd and Red Faces. This will be a good story. Launching out the crane and clear is officially. Celebrate too early. Unofficially. As an ex star chaser, drinkers are on me. Clear to dock. So, dock with this ship. Hopefully they pay out the money. Definitely need to restock everything. As well as get a new fucking ship. Because this... I'm sure if I had the other ship with the other weapons, this might not have been so bad. But god damn it, that was... And I really feel like... Dude, like, I was the only fighter left standing here, man. I was the only one out there. Mission as good as ready. Our victory is here means the consortium doesn't sound safe. Yep, don't know what's going on. I know, right? Excellent. Relax for now, gentlemen. I need you to brief my command in the 43rd. Now, without my request involving Speakerson. Performed well, didn't he? Come on, Calandro. Give me old chance. 200,000. Nice. Level 60. Okay, well, there we have it. Um, that was Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace. If you liked what you've seen, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help a lot. Until next time, peace.